hey what is good everybody welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be talking about the next coming videos which will be surrounding shaders and basically essentially helping you guys get started with graphics apis and uh, graphics programming so what you guys are seeing right here is a metal view which is basically powered by metal obviously in the name um and uh it's basically rendering what our renderer wants it to render so just like a game engine um, we have a renderer behind the scenes that is essentially hooking up to our shaders and basically communicating with our shaders to basically render what we want to render onto the screen. So, um, yeah, so in the coming videos, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve what you guys are seeing right here. This is a metal view and it's also very responsive and also the view updates as you change the size of your view within swift ui as you can, can see i just increased the height to 600 and then if i were to essentially um, change it to be the height of the screen and then just uncomment the proxy size here um just save that and then you'll see that it actually spans the entirety of our screen now the aspect ratio is in some way preserved however you can fine tune it and basically get it to look the way that you want it to look but so far it is communicating with the renderer and the renderer is receiving the new coordinates or the new screen size um, of our view so that it can essentially, um, you know, get uh, elements or whatever we want to render, rendering properly, you know? So um, yeah, so let me just get this back to 300, just keep that little ratio that I like in terms of my height and uh, yeah, and then we zoom in. This is how it looks like so in the next coming videos we're gonna be setting up our renderer we're gonna be setting up our metal view we're gonna code it and then we're gonna set up our shaders and then from there once we have everything set up we'll be talking strictly shaders and graphics programming so therefore we're gonna be developing and um basically learning together on how graphics apis actually work and how graphics programming actually work and how we can achieve certain things like this that is wouldn't really be possible with normal swift gui code um although it is possible but uh, you know there's certain things that swift gui itself is not really good at whereas shaders can help us in a very very huge way and we can achieve some pretty pretty cool effects so um just to show you guys that this is um interactive and everything um i have a shader here a fragment shader which is rendering what you guys are seeing here on the screen so let's say we wanted to change the background so i'll be showing you guys how to do that and how to set up um your color parameters and all these things so let's just change the background to something let's say gray so i'm gonna give it a great background and then let's just do this and let's just save that and then come back in the preview and we should have like a gray background being rendered and voila sure so now we can't see our graph so let's change our graph color to something let's, let's do yellow and let's just click save on that and then when we look at it it should give us a yellow graph and then let's just say the grid lines are just too strong so let's just dim them a little bit um and then let's see how that looks like so um yeah so now we just dimmed those um grid lines i feel like they're a bit too dark since our background is a zero point um one so let's just make them a bit lighter than the background i'll just click save don't want them to entirely disappear but ah there we go now we have a beautiful grid in dark mode so essentially this is what i'll be showing you guys how to achieve in the coming videos um so that you guys can start your journey on graphics programming and be able to create some really really cool graphics within your swift ui applications however this can be applied to game engines and to all the other graphics rendering apis such as opengl vulcan direct 3d all of that stuff right um in terms of shaders obviously um but then yeah so if you guys are really really interested in what you're seeing here today do stick around do hit, hit that subscribe button and uh yeah we have good good content coming up in the future so um yeah that is it for me today um i do hope you guys enjoyed it and um i'll see you around in the next video cheers